Hello fellow cinephiles, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Real movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today is still my film noir reviews. Uh, it is noir member in the old Hollywood fandom. So here is a noir that I have watched called Deadline at Dawn from 1944 starring Susan Hayward. Now the movie begins with this uh, Navy officer named... The movie starts off with this uh, sailor named Alex Binkley. He woke up uh, at a newsstand and he tells that he was blackout drunk. Something happened. He had helped someone and they started drinking and he blacked out. And somehow he wound up at this newspaper stand in the morning in really, really hot, disgusting, gross New York in the middle of the summer. And, uh, and when he gets up to go and just get away from the stand, a wad of cash falls out of his pocket. So he's like, oh, I think I know who, who I got this from. This is from a lady that I had helped out the night before. Alex decides to uh, go back and try and find this lady that he helped. He remembers the street and everything, but he gets caught up in uh, this rush of this crowd on the sidewalk going into a dance hall. And he winds up meeting this woman, a dancer at this club, named June Goff, played by Susan Hayward. And uh, she takes a liking to him because they, she finds out that Alex and her brother are both on the same posts or the same ranking in the Navy. So after they dance and she goes home for the night, she takes Alex to where he remembers this woman had lived. And she's nice to him because he sees like such an innocent kid. He's from like, I think upstate New York in the middle of nowhere. So he's kind of naive to the ways of the city. June takes him to this apartment and Alex goes upstairs to go give the lady back her cash and he finds this woman dead on the floor and he is like oh my god i don't remember if i killed her i was i got drunk i don't remember anything after a while what happened so with june's help alex starts to piece together what happened that night and um a cabbie also helps them there's a lot of cd characters in this film i mean it it, it also like the opening shot is this man called sleepy parsons he's blind he goes up to to Edna who is the woman who was murdered and he's like where's my money and you know you weren't good to me all this stuff and then it just like there's so many other seedy characters in this you're like this person did it this person did it that one did it or they could have done it and the killer actually winds up being someone you're like oh wow like there's there's just like no build up to who this person is and it's very very interesting their connection to everything and it was just it was really good this twist and i had seen deadline at dawn years ago and i only remembered that i saw because when i went looking for the poster i was like this poster looks so familiar and i was like i reviewed it on my blog years and years ago and i did like this movie i i think deadline at dawn is very good the story is very noir, very, you know, like with the CD characters, the cinematography is very noir. Um, the direction was actually by this director who's um, a stage director. So it's very, like, to me, it seemed like there were tighter shots. It was a lot of the characters were stationary. They didn't really move too much within the scenes. And uh, it was just, it was really good. I really liked Deadline at Dawn. I love Susan Hayward in this. Um, she was 29 years old when she made this movie in 1944, and she was a little spunky thing. I always love seeing Susan Hayward. She's a Brooklyn girl, and you can always, like, if you know that, you can hear it. You can hear her Brooklyn accent a little bit, and she's got that, like, toughness to her. And she was so perfect as June. That was my review for Deadline at Dawn for this noir member. If you like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen Deadline at Dawn. What did you think of it? Did you like Susan Hayward? What, do you like the actors? If you like the story? Whatever you got, leave them there. And if you have any suggestions of what movies I should watch next, also leave them also in the comments. And if I happen to pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I'll give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future classic movie Thursdays and other Let's Get Reels movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.